Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to part six of my build vlog for a Crisis Extreme build. Got my NZXT Phantom up, as you can see. That means I've got everything on my board. Which I'm going to just go show you now. I'm going to just give you a nice quick walk through. So. I probably can't see because of the light, but now I've got 6 gigs of the RAM in. Put the G school stuff away. Got so carried away thinking, oh yeah, 12 gigs of RAM. I forgot you can't mix and max, match brands, so that's gone. Got two fans on my Mega Hamas, and I've got the passive heatsink system in, and obviously my i7-920. I don't know how much of that you can see. There we go. Trusty desk lamp there, look. Desk lamp I don't even use. Okay. So, let's sneak you back on the tripod. Inside of the case, I'm not going to show you that much on the outside. I'm going to show you a nice design feature I like. Ready? Getting that in the shot. Ready? You've only got one screw down here. You've got the option to have offered another two. But you just do that with some screw a little bit like that. Flick it down and the side panel comes off just like that. Okay, on the side panel you are meant to have two fans here, but I've only got the one. That's what I wanted. Which has got a dust filter for, and there's a dust filter here. For the big fan that goes here, I believe it's a 200mm. But I believe that must be not optional, but I'm going to cut a window in it, or get a window side panel when it comes out, so it's not really that vital. Okay, so that's yeah, blow a little bit. Alright. So now I'm just gonna give you a quick walk through on the case. So obviously you've got all your front panel connectors here. Your sort of usual. Got a box here. of cable ties that have just fell out in the actual box. As you can see they're just all sort of hanging out. And a motherboard screw. Um speaker thigh. This this thing, whatever that is. Obviously the PCI back plates are missing <laughs> from the back. Um, a load of different screws here. Like a whole bag of different types of screws. Some of them are labelled with their sizes. So, um, that's what's in the accessories box. And this is the uh, overall view of the inside of the NZXT. Phenom, if I it is full tower, so it's quite hard to get it all in one shot, to be honest. But that's about the best I can do. 
So there you have it. Got all your little rubber grommets like there and stuff. For ca for cables, HD bears. Also got an optional one here to go in for like SSDs and stuff, but I'm not gonna have that in. Well I might do see how I feel. Okay, so that's the end of part six. Uh, I'll get it all installed in the case and I'll show you how it is. Obviously without my graphics cards, but what what can you do? Not a lot I can do really about it. But thanks for watching and goodbye and stay tuned for part seven and remember subscribe.